In this video, I'm gonna do the post back for adding a product. So in this post add page, I'm gonna do it. So this is gonna be post add product, and this is gonna be a slash product as well. And in here, I need to check the title and the description as well. So this is gonna say description and price as well so price here and price must have a value and i'm gonna say here is whoops is decimal so that exists as well in express validator and for the image because i want to also make sure the image is an image if it's uploaded and I also want it to be okay if no image is uploaded. So to do that I actually need to add a custom validator because Express Validator doesn't include that for some reason. So in app.js let's see here it is. So after this error formatter finishes I'm gonna add a new property called custom validators and this is going to be an object and in here I'm going to call it is image and this is going to be equal to a function with a value and file name arguments so let me just uh, actually it's fine like so so I'm going to say here var extension and that's going to be equal to path and x name and pass the file name in here and also make sure it's lowercase so to lowercase let me just format this a bit like so and now I'm gonna switch through the extension so switch extension and if the case is .jpg so I'm gonna allow for jpgs and pngs or nothing so if the case is actually the column goes here so if the case is .jpg I'm gonna return .jpg and I'm gonna copy this a few more times just format this a bit like so so dot jpg and dot jpeg so copy that as well and png return png and also if it's empty that's okay too and then i'm going to return dot jpg so it's just going to work like so and i'm going to have the default as well which is going to return false so that should do it and also here now in post add product I need to check that the file is not undefined otherwise that's gonna be a problem for that file upload package so before this express validator thing is I'm gonna say var image file and then I'm gonna say that type of rec files so the file inputs are going to be in this rec files now because I have that file upload package otherwise this wouldn't work with just body parser so dot image which is the name of the input file so if that's not equal to undefined then image file is going to be equal to rec files image dot name else is going to be equal to an empty string so this image is going to have a few properties one of them is going to be a name and if it's undefined then it's this image file is going to be an empty string and now also to check here now for that image file i'm going to say rec dot check body and image here since that's the name of the input and you must upload an image and here now I'm gonna say is image and pass the image file in here 
so that should work and now here I need to get a title and I'm gonna get rid of these so the slug I need as well which I'm gonna create automatically so this is gonna be the title with replace and so on as usual so title slug and I need the description and this should be a var slug actually so rack body desk here and price and category so price and price and category here and category here and now here check for errors so if there are errors again I need to wrap this into that category fine because I need to display categories so let me just actually copy that from here so I don't need to rewrite it so if there are errors then this is gonna happen and I'm also gonna pass errors so that's the only difference else I need to check that the product name is unique so I'm gonna say here product and find one where slug is equal to slug okay so product here and if product again this is a problem so I'm gonna say here product title exists choose another and copy this whole thing and paste it here just format that shift alt f in netbins and I'm gonna get rid of the errors else it's all good and I need to save the product so since I'm saving the product now I want to format the price whoops so I'm gonna say here var price 2 and that's gonna be equal to parse float price and to fixed 2 so to two decimal places and this is gonna be product so product is gonna be equal to new product and title title slug slug description description and price whoops and price 2 and category is gonna be equal to category and image to image file so this is gonna be the name of the image or an empty string and now I'm gonna do product save so if there are errors return the errors and if there aren't any errors now I want to create the folders so I'm gonna say mkdrp and I'm gonna pass here public slash product underscore images slash and product ID and as soon as you do this save you have access to the product ID here so this is actually gonna work it's gonna know what the ID is so that's not a problem and this can take a callback with the error so if there is an error I'm gonna return console log error error just format this ag again and I also want to create a folder inside of this folder so I'm gonna copy this twice actually so here I'm creating a folder inside of the product images folder and that folder's name is gonna be the product ID and I also want to create here inside of that folder another folder call, called gallery for the gallery images and also slash gallery slash thumbs for the thumbnail images and I also want to check here if image file is not an empty string since in that case I want to actually upload it so I'm gonna say here if image file is not actually an empty string in that case I'm gonna say var product image is equal to rec files 
image and I'm also gonna have a path here so our path is gonna be public slash product images slash dot product ID and slash the file name so image file and now to actually save it I'm gonna say here product image and MV which is the function or the method and pass the path in here and just an error in case of an error so if error return console log error and format that and that should do it so just here for the flash I'm gonna say product added and redirect back to admin products so let's see if this works now so if I go to add a new product and I just try to submit like so I get these errors and if I try to upload a PDF file let's say which I'm trying to find here actually it's in course file so test PDF and submit you must upload an image so that works too okay so I'm gonna upload here bananas and description is gonna say some bananas category fruits is fine price is gonna be two dollars let's say and no file and submit and here it is so great that works I'm gonna add another I'm gonna add apples and some apples gonna be the description category fruits and price 1.2 let's say and I'm gonna actually upload an image this time so apples 1 and submit so this works but the image is not showing up for some reason we'll see what that's about let me just check in here products so image name is fine apples1.jpg and here image is an empty string so that's good that's what I want and let me just take care of this no image available I want to have it appear smaller so that's in product cjs I'm gonna give it an ID let me just find it here it is ID no image and I'm gonna give this an ID of no image as well just to style it in one go so in admin style CSS I'm gonna say here no image and it's gonna have a width of a hundred and a height of a hundred as well pixels that is so let's refresh now and here it is looking good let me just see what's up with this so product images and looking good basically maybe I'm missing a public here though I shouldn't be no that's not the reason because in the source you shouldn't need to use the public I'll see what that is when I finish the video let's just see here so it can't find it for some reason but more importantly let me just check that product images folder here it is so here are the folders with the gallery and thumbs folders and this is the oh so the problem is the image didn't actually get uploaded okay let's see here I actually have an error so no such file product image I miss an NS here so that's the issue let's see that's in admin products oh here yeah you guys might have caught that sorry about that but anyway 
if I now let's say add another product with some image let's see what else do I have here I have some grapes so I'm gonna add some grapes and the title is gonna be grapes and description some grapes and category fruits price can be one five let's say and submit now hopefully that's gonna show up and here it is so it works and this is gonna work when I enable editing a product then I will be able to change the image so it's all good basically okay that's it for this video see you in the next one